So if you want to uh, go ahead and give people um, a rundown uh, who you are and uh, what gave you the inspiration to say, I, I want to run for uh, the city commissioner seat five in Tallahassee. Right. Yeah. Well, let me um, let me go ahead and give my little speech here. So hi, listeners. My name is Shelby Green. I am running for city commission in Tallahassee. I first came to Tallahassee in 2014 to study chemical engineering. And as most students, I expected to leave. Then the pandemic came. I graduated during the pandemic and decided to stay and, you know, help out where I can. I have always noticed that Tallahassee's politics, um, or Tallahassee in general, just needs more progression, especially on the south and west side. We're just kind of stuck um, in this endless cycle of change never coming because the people who are supposed to bring the change leave shortly after they graduate. Um, so people become complacent, and then Tallahassee has a history of segregation. So some neighborhoods' problems are not representative of the entire city's problems. So, um, yeah, the main reason why I decided to run is I was really just unhappy with how the city handled the pandemic. Like, during a time when families, everyday people were just struggling and making sacrifices, our city should have been doing the same thing. Um, we had a utility moratorium in place, and then we ended it without a public notice, without public communication. And so you just had people who were one day thinking that they didn't have to pay their utility bill, and then they're getting disconnected without warning and without knowing that there is existing help available. So you had people who were going into debt or having to take out loans or having to put that debt on their credit card, um, people who could not afford to pay their utility bill that got their lights turned off and then had their debt sent to a debt collection agency. We had people who were just really struggling. And when I went to the city commission to just let them know what I experienced and asking for them to at least print disconnection dates on utility bills or to better communicate existing relief options, it was like it just went in one ear, not the other. And that is unacceptable, but especially during a pandemic and especially when the city says that Black Lives Matter and they paint that mural um, mm -hmm. in Gang Street. But when a majority of the people who can't afford to pay their utility bill and can't afford to live are struggling and need help, you give them help. That is that is what the government is supposed to do. The government is supposed to serve the will of the people when it